Here's why President Biden's strategic blindness is so dangerous. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. The Biden administration is still floundering on foreign policy, and the consequences could be dire for us and the free world. After World War II, the U.S. shed its pre-war isolationism, and in the immediate years following, developed the strategy that ultimately led to victory against the Soviet Union in the 40-year Cold War. The strategy was summed up in one word, containment. We would work with allies to stop the advancement of Soviet communism. That way, the Soviet Union would gradually fall apart from the West's long-term pressure and vastly superior economic performance. Developing a strategy with bipartisan support enabled us to weather all the setbacks that arose over that four-decade period. Today, Joe Biden and his security team have never articulated what our strategy is, and thus have not rallied broad understanding and support. That's why the virus of the ugly, devastating isolationism of the 1930s is back, jeopardizing support for substantial long-term aid to Ukraine and even Israel. It's leading our adversaries to believe we don't have the stomach to resist them. This is how deadly miscalculations arise. We'll do now for the Bidenites a favor and give them a quick summary of what they should do. Update the post-World War II containment strategy to meet the circumstances of today. Call it the new containment. That means Russia will not create the old Soviet empire by subjugating Ukraine and destroying NATO. Iran will not be the hegemon in the oil-rich Middle East and will not be allowed to become a nuclear power. President Xi of China will be resisted in his attempts to make China the dominant global power. The new containment means we won't betray Ukraine the way the West betrayed Czechoslovakia in Munich in 1938, which set the stage for World War II. Thanks to our dithering and providing sufficient weapons, Ukraine is not going to achieve a quick victory. Nonetheless, it can still win this war. Despite disappointments over its land offensives this year, Kyiv has achieved astonishing success against Russia's Navy with skillful use of drones and rockets. With no Navy to speak of, Ukraine busted the Kremlin blockade of Ukrainian food exports. With adequate resupply, Ukraine could make Russia's presence in Crimea increasingly untenable. That would deal the Kremlin a devastating blow. But make no mistake, Ukraine needs lots of help now and long term. Adequately armed, it will ultimately defeat Putin. We should not block Israel from destroying Hamas, who are as bad or worse than the Nazis. Stop appeasing Iran. Start by blocking Iran's expanding oil exports to China. Also, at an opportune moment, we should state that if the mullahs don't dismantle their nuclear program, we will be free to take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. Among other moves, Xi Jinping should be informed behind the scenes that if he moves on Taiwan by, say, seizing one of the Taiwanese islands, his man-made islands in the South China Sea will be considered fair game by the U.S. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. (music) 